Hey everybody, how's it going? So I'm going to do a super quick video here for you guys. Uh, I think this has been out for a while, not too sure. I just saw on Clip Studio Paint's Facebook page that they, you, if you're following them on Facebook every now and then, they post some really sweet stuff. Um, and there's so many cool things. I feel like there's a lot of stuff in this software that's just buried in something. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's interesting to find you know new things all the time. But let's get into it. So I believe you need, um, let me just see here if it's under uh, version information. So. The current version I'm running, and I believe this is uh, for Clip Studio anyway, it's uh, 1.6.2, okay? Uh, you might have to ch double check all that, I'm not sure. Just update your copy of Manga Studio. And um, this is how I found out how to get to it. I don't know, some people I think they have like an icon or something, but if you just go up to File, right down here to Start Clip Studio. Uh, I've already loaded it up, uh, but this will pop up, which is really cool. Um, And, and you're <laughs> pretty much done. Uh, you need to make an account. It's free, it's easy, it's all that quick stuff. I'm already signed in. You can just make one. Trust me. It's it's. You guys know how to make accounts. It's nothing too crazy. But what is this? What what is what is this whole thing I'm looking at? Well, from my understanding anyway, is it's basically a in software um, like catalog where people can upload content and you can download content. Well, what the hell does that mean? Well, uh, you can see there's like all these little like um, searches you can find and all this sort of thing, but. Really, you can just download brushes for free that people are uploading, right? Like you, you see, I got little check marks or some that I that I've uh, messed around with. All kinds of stuff here, guys. I'm not going to make this a super long video. Uh, we'll just find a brush and I'll install it and I'll show you guys really how this goes. But there's been so many really cool things that I found here, like materials, all sorts of stuff, right? Like normally I would just go up. I think you can click this thing. Uh, maybe even go to like ranking. Is it loading? Yeah. Okay. And I, you know, you can go, I wish you could do all time, but we'll go monthly, you know, and you can see what's getting ranked the highest, which is kind of cool, right? Like you can just click inside here and they'll give you little like examples of what's in here, right? Like it's all Japanese. <laughs> so I have no idea what they're saying, right? However, right up here, it says literally view translation. You click that and sometimes it's broken English, but for the most part, you can kind of make it make up, like understand what it's saying when they uh whoever whatever the artist is that uploaded this stuff if they're from japan or you know any eastern country or anything like that uh they may write stuff on their uploaded uh thumbnail here and that i i don't know you know what that does but you can still see you get all this cool stuff right so um actually here let me just go back i'm just gonna go with uh where was it i saw something uh let's try to make this quick uh sure let's let's start with this there's like speed lines, all kinds of stuff. And this is what I like about this is it's, um, you know, there's a lot of like texture work you can kind of get and stuff. Sometimes it takes a little load and they'll give you some really cool examples of like how they're using certain things and all that, right? So let's just go ahead and click download. <clears throat> this one's probably a, a really dumb one to do because it's probably going to take a while. But you can go up here and you can click. Uh, just so you can see, there's stuff that are downloading, you know. Uh, and we'll just wait for that to do its little thing. I'll just close that up there. Uh, that'll disappear. Now, basically, what you what's going to happen here, and, and I mean, I've just clicked this, opened it, and, and did this thing. I didn't have, if you've got some funky folder structure, I don't know exactly this next step if it's going to work for you. But for me, uh, once it's downloaded, it just stays in like a download folder. Again, that's all default stuff from installing it. So if you do have some weird um, file management system, I'm not sure exactly what to tell you. But while that's going on, I'm just going to go in the background. I think it just finished. Uh, now, I know my UI is a little different, um, but basically, you're going to have to open up your material folder, okay? And it'll usually say something like all materials, and you'll have like all... If you if you don't even know about the material folder in Manga Studio, well, have fun with that, because there's a whole bunch of stuff in there that you'll hopefully dig. Uh, all kinds of 3D tools. This is where you find like your, your poses and your characters and stuff. And again, there's a whole bunch of 3D models on there that people are posting. Um, I, th I think this is still obviously in the early building stage. There's a lot of really cool things there, um, but I expect like even in a year, even six months, it's probably going to be insane. But anyway, you can see I just got a download folder. If I click that, these are all brushes that I've already downloaded and stuff like this really cool debris brush and all that stuff. But as you can see, uh, all the folders or the things that I just downloaded, they're here now. Okay. Now what you do is, since these are brushes that I've just downloaded, you're going to have to have your like brush tools open, right? You can see I've got this one, uh, I believe it's written in Japanese, I'm not sure. These are a whole bunch of brushes I've already downloaded to play around with to see if I even like it, you know? Uh, so all you do is you just click and drag. And that's really it, and you're done, <laughs> you know? And you just start to draw with it. Sometimes, like right now, when I'm drawing, nothing's happening. Sometimes just things that you get, you have to play around with the settings because all of us, well, not all of us, but some of us, we all have different, um, 
you know, like brush sensitivities and stuff like that. But let's just say this one here. Let's click that. We'll drag it here just so you guys can see it in action. You click when you're drawing. Oh, yeah, here we go. Let's try this debris brush. There we go. So you can see what's happening. is like this is just what somebody made. Oh, I see. The brushes that I had. Let's see. I think they just might be, again, with the pressure sensitivity. Let's see if I just make that real big. Yeah. So, anyway, I'm not going to take you guys' time too much with this. I just want you guys to go check that out because, uh, you know, I, I actually made a couple posts uh, around last week or something just letting people know, like, hey, this is pretty cool. Most of us, uh, you know, you look around online like Photoshop and stuff and you're like, you're searching for Photoshop brushes and you got to download all that stuff. This is all integrated, you know, and I encourage you guys to upload things as well if you can. I haven't even touched that, uh, upload my own brushes and, and little settings and stuff. But uh, I do think this, uh, you know, take the half hour out of your day, grab a coffee, grab something, like download, this thing comes with your software, <laughs> just open it up and mess around, see what's in there, install a whole bunch of brushes, go crazy. There's some really slick ones, like check this stuff out here. Uh, it's like this weird, almost like, this is used for like, I don't know, if you're like, let's do like an Akuma sign or something, right? Like, it's like this really nifty uh, Japanese sort of feel, like a brush to it, right? And there's a whole bunch of them. Uh, and I download it, obviously, like, and you guys can always do that. But like, look at this, hold up, just look at this for a second. Let me just zoom in here. Do you see this like ink that's happening at the end, like it's on paper? Now, I know not all of you on your comics would use something like that, but, again, it's nice to have for nothing, <laughs> you know? It's free. You can just sort of just use this stuff. Uh, G brushes and stuff. There's like all kinds of really cool stuff here. So, anyway, you guys have fun. Mess around with this stuff. Hopefully, you find something in there you like, you know? Uh, have fun. Experiment. Hopefully, it helps your art and all that cool stuff. Uh, and if you like the video, please feel free to share it around with your buddies, your friends, and... Um, yeah, that's all I got for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Keep reading comics, keep making comics, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.